Four years ago, a neurosurgeon in Oxford, England, passed away at the age of 88. The good doctor had given 60 years of his life to the field of medicine, publishing dozens of papers and contributing significantly to the field of research concerning the intricacies of the nervous system. However, Sir Roger, as he came to be known, is far more famous for a feat that he accomplished many years ago in just a matter of minutes. Four, to be exact. On May the 6th, 1954. The milestone which he accomplished at the age of 25 made Roger Bannister a world-famous celebrity overnight. You see, for centuries, it had been accepted and believed that it was impossible for a person to run a mile in under four minutes. In fact, attempts to do so go all the way back to ancient Greece. Why, one legend even has it that in ancient Greece, they would have wild animals chase the runners in an effort to get them to move faster. But nothing worked. And so it was generally accepted that it was physically impossible for a human being to run a mile in under four minutes. Our bone structure just wasn't right, they would say. Or the wind resistance was too great. Or our lung capacity just wasn't enough. But for whatever reason, the holy grail of athletic achievement remained just out of reach. That is, until May 6, 1954, when medical student Roger Bannister, the aspiring neurosurgeon from England, ran a mile in three minutes and 59.4 seconds. On the day that he broke that, keep in mind that they didn't have the modern day scoreboards that we have today where they post the times of the athletes for everyone to see. And so when Bannister finished the race, the crowd waited for the time to be announced. They knew he had run fast, but come on, no one had ever run a mile in under four minutes before. And so the announcer said over the PA system, the time was three and no one heard anything else because the crowd erupted in thunderous applause, the clapping and hollering and shouting so loudly that no one heard what else the announcer had said over the PA system. That which had been deemed impossible had now been accomplished. But there's a postscript to this story that I don't want you to miss. Now remember, forever they had never been able to run a sub four minute mile. And then finally on May 6th, 1954, Roger Bannister did it. Well, get this, just 46 days after Roger Bannister had set his record time, Australian runner John Landy also ran a sub four minute mile. In fact, he beat Roger Bannister's time by two seconds. And then just a year later, three runners ran a mile in under four minutes in the same race. And it began to happen again and again. So that as of today, almost 1,500 different people, all males, have now run a mile in less than four minutes. In fact, the record now stands at three minutes, 43 seconds, more than a quarter of a minute faster than Roger Bannister's time. I and mean, what gives? How is it that something that was considered absolutely impossible has now become, well, somewhat commonplace? Well, there have been various theories to explain it, but one of the most commonly accepted theory has to do with the mind. That once Roger Bannister broke the four-minute barrier, others began to realize 
hey, it's possible. Whereas before, perhaps people had just accepted it as being out of reach, as just being impossible. They had accepted their limits. We do this all the time, don't we? Sometimes we put limits on other people. We say, oh, you'll, you'll never get that job. Or sometimes we squash the dream of a child by saying, oh, you could never do that. Most often, though, I think we do it to ourselves. We say, oh, I could never accomplish that, or I could never get that job or that degree. I could never get healthy. I could never just fill in the blank. Wasn't it time that we take those limits off and just rip the ceiling off and believe in God to do in us far beyond what we could even imagine? So apply yourself. Do far more than what you ever dream and trust God for the results. Thank you for watching. And be kind.